But now get some practice using the low level RPM command in order to look at a package, try to remove it, etc. So we're going to type RPM QA for query and look at all packages on the system. And then we're going to grep to look for the package bzip2. Okay, and you see there's actually two RPM packages which have bzip2 in their names. The actual bzip2 program and then bzip2 libs, which is libraries that depend on bzip2. So let's take a look more at information of, about bzip2. If I do rpm, if I do rpm dash q for query, i for information, and then l for a list of files, and that's a lot, so I'll pipe it through less. Oops, I forgot to give the name of the package, so bzip2. You see the name is bzip2, you see it's version 1.06. Um, we see it's source RPM here, we see when it was released in November 2015 out of centos.org. And then a description of what it does. It's a freely available, patent-free, high-quality data compressor, etc. And then a list of the files that are part of bzip2. If I want to get a little bit more detailed look at what's in there, I could do something a little fancier like rpm that ql bzip2. We just list the files. And then uh, I'll make that a shell command and substitute for it and do an ls-lf on that. So this will give me a detailed listing. And then I'll pipe it into less. And these are the actual files that are in the package in a little bit more detail, like their length and what type of files. You'll notice, for instance, b unzip2 and bzip2 are really the same file. It's just a symbolic link. And the system knows what to do, or I should say the application knows what to do, whether to zip or unzip, depending on how it's called. Now let's see what happens if I try to remove the package. So I, I would, should be a uh, root to do that, so I'll do an sudo, and then I'll do rpm-e for erase, and then just to be extra careful, I'll use the dash dash test which means it won't actually do anything with this option. It'll just see if it could do it. bzip2, so I try to remove it. And it's telling me that I can't do that because it's needed by those following three packages, as well as the file roller program, uh, which is an archiving program present on basically all Linux distributions. And then I can get a little more information in a different way with rpm-q dash dash what provides bzip2. And you'll see it's the bzip2 package. And if I do what requires, I get the same information about the three packages that would like that need to have bzip2 installed for them to behave properly and not crash or anything. A little bit later we're going to discuss yum and zipper and also DNF which are higher level programs that can handle dependencies in robust fashion. RPM is really designed for individual packages which are listed on the command line or groups of packages listed on the command line.